I'm Gavin Weald and the Chief Executive of Applied Language Solutions. Applied Language Solutions are a translation and interpreting company. We translate li literally everything from a tattoo through to Nike's entire website or Google, the UN, you know, HSBC, provide interpreters in any country in the world. Um, what we do though is, is use technology to achieve that, so the, the translators themselves are all home workers or interpreters as well, we've got 14,400 currently all around the world, so we give them jobs based on their individual expertise and a lot of that's done with workflow software, so they, they log into our systems and work collaborator collaboratively, um, whereas previously in this industry you'd have everybody working in their own silo, so they'd never really interact or work on, on multiple language projects. Projects. They did French in France and, and that was it. And, and what we've tried to do is bring a lot of the modern technologies of, of web and workflow and you know, Skype and, and wikis and all these great things together to make it a, a much more collaborative teamwork in effort for translation. And that means we can do translation you know, sometimes 50 to, to 100 times quicker than traditionally done and we can do it an awful lot cheaper as well. Um, and of course the quality is never uh, infringed by doing that. With translation in particular, when you're working at home constantly with text and translating, it can be a lonely world. So I think what we've done is brought more of a community sense to that, whereas they would traditionally work on their project in isolation and just work through it. Now they might be working with a team of five or ten on a given project and working collaboratively, talking about you know glossaries and particular terms and, and I suppose interacting with other human beings, which can obviously uh, can often get... Uh, go by the wayside if you're in translation. From inception we've been very much a technology driven business and always looking at how we can use technology to drive out costs and inefficiencies. One thing we've, we've probably driven harder recently on that because of the economy and wanting to push more costs out such as moving away from some of the Microsoft technologies. We no longer use uh, Microsoft Office, we use Open Office which is free. Um, we no longer use Microsoft Exchange, we use a free uh, Linux version. So there's a lot of costs that we had in the business for licenses and other things that we no longer have and I think a lot of those technologies are, are perfectly viable now to do that. The first thing I'd say to anybody looking at this, it, it's not that complicated and, and I think what you can do is, is see a minefield and think where on earth do I start with all of this. I'd start with simple things like maybe Skype, say how can this technology be used within my business, it's free. Um, you know, wikis, it, would it be useful to have a, a central wiki of knowledge within the company so that rather than people always having to ring around, they can have a quick look on the wiki and everybody can, can add to it. And there's a lot of free technologies that are really simple to use that might be a good taster um, as to how you can use technology in your business. The second thing I would say, and I always advocate, is look at open source. There's, there's huge amounts of technology out there that is completely free, that is absolutely robust and excellent, that can really manage your business. And as I say, the best thing in the world is it's free.